to more now on those developments. I'm joined from Brussels by our correspondent, Jack Parrock. Jack, there doesn't appear to be much hope for a concrete deal for Europe on migration. What more can you tell us? Indeed. So the idea now is that Germany's Angela Merkel is going to need to get some sort of unity from some of the leaders in order to save her coalition. We had a summit on this issue of 16 European Union leaders on Sunday that was called especially to try and find some unity. They came out with positive messages, but nothing really. Now, what, they, what many in the European Union want to do, especially the countries that have been more pro-immigration, they want Dublin reformed. And what that means essentially is ending the current regulation which means that asylum seekers must apply for asylum in the first country where they land after they arrive in the European Union which means that countries like in, uh, Greece and Italy have been inundated with applications the problem with reforming this and allowing uh, um, applications to be made in other countries is countries in the east of Europe Hungary Poland the Czech Republic Slovakia for instance they will not allow this they will not uh, accept uh, asylum seekers from other parts of the bloc when they enter in other places. So this is where the crisis is really taking place. And in the backdrop of the, all this, you've got these rescue ships that have been stranded, two of them now, for over a week in the last couple of weeks. And that is causing real political pressure on the leaders of the European Union to do something about it. And uh, Jack, there's another crisis for uh, German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Uh, she's facing a political crisis at home over migration. How is that likely to shape the upcoming summit. It's massive. This is being called by many that it could be German Chancellor Angela Merkel's last summit if she doesn't manage to get agreement or at least support from other, uh, some of the other European Union leaders. Now, her Bavarian uh, coalition partners, who have swung more to the right after a German far-right party has started taking uh, sort of votes from them in Bavaria, in the southern German state, has said that unless she can find some sort of new deal with the European Union on migration, that they will start closing the Bavarian border to migrants. And that essentially will mean that she has because the interior, her interior minister, Horst Seedhofer, is uh, in, her, uh, in her governing, uh, um, in her cabinet, if, she, if he does that, then she will essentially have to fire him, and that will pull apart the coalition, meaning that Germany could be in for fresh elections, and it could change the face of the European Union. Angela Merkel has been in power in Germany since 2005 and has really taken a big lead in the European Union since then as well. Well, let's talk about unity in the EU. Just how much has migration affected unity there? To what extent is the bloc fractured, would you say? It's incre incredibly fractious as we see those countries that I mentioned, uh, Hungary, etc., in the east refusing to accept any migrants, policies and, and regulations going further and further away from a sort of openness that we saw from the Germans back in 2015. We've seen this new populist Italian coalition government come in, closing its docks, the fight with Malta, not allowing them, these rescue boats to arrive. And, and now in Germany, obviously, this, this is going on as well. I think what's really important to mention here, however, is that back in 2015, when Germany accepted over the, like uh, more than a million migrants, and when more than a million people entered the European Union. That was really a crisis of numbers. Now, this year in 2018, we've only seen 41,000 people enter the European Union. This is not necessarily the migration crisis that we saw three years ago. This is much more of a political crisis. Okay, Jack Parrott, thank you very much for that update. That was our Brussels correspondent there.